Number 22, a cube has an edge length of 68 inches. Okay. I'm, I'm a drawer. I always am going to draw immediately when they start giving me things. So like, okay, 68, it's a cube. So all sides are 68. Okay, got it. A solid sphere with a radius of 34 inches is inside the cube, such that the sphere touches the center of each face of the cube. So like, okay, so there's a, a sphere inside here. And it has a radius of 34 inches. And they're both in inches, 68 inches, 34 inches. Okay. To the nearest cubic inch, what is the volume of space in the cube not taken up by the sphere? So we're talking about these spaces around it, essentially. It'll be up in this corner too and down in this corner. All these little corner spaces. They're testing your knowledge of volume. Now, if you look at the, um, the math, the, the first page of this module, they do give you the uh, formulas for the volume of a cube, well, a rectangular prism, but same thing. And in this case, it's the same thing they're giving you, telling you it's length times width times height, which is the same for both rectangular prisms and cubes. And they also give you that the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed, which that's kind of nice of them that they're giving you those formulas. So you're going to figure out the volume of the cube and you're going to subtract the volume of the sphere to find out what that little blue area is. So again, volume of the cube is going to be length times width times height or side cubed. You might see it represented either way in your math book. In this case, it would be 68 times 68. Wow, that did not write that well. Times 68. <laughs> sometimes, you know, and sometimes the stylus stops working. There we go, 68 times 68 times 68 minus the volume of a cube. And as I said, the volume of a cube is four thirds pi r cubed. And here our radius, they told us that is 34. And that cubed goes with that 34. It does not mean the whole thing cubed. Be careful on that. So now this is big time. This is where your calculator comes in handy. Honestly, I haven't seen a lot of problems on this test that I would think, oh, absolutely, I need a calculator for this. But oh my goodness, yes, would I want a calculator for this one? Absolutely. 68 times 68 times 68 is 314,432. Four thirds pi times 34 cubed. 34 cubed is 39,304. And if I multiply that by four thirds, which you can do quite easily in um, in your calculator, if you don't want to get into parentheses and four divided by three, you can multiply the whole number by four and divide what you get by three. That's a way that's a little a little easier to do. So we get fifty two thousand four hundred five and a third. Then multiply that by pi, which is the pi button in your calculator, and you get a hundred approximately one hundred and sixty four thousand six hundred and thirty six point two one. Now, if you subtract the 314,000, you subtract that from 314,432, you're going to get 149,795.79, which can be rounded to 149,796. A is our answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.